sure we can trust him? Yeah, Biner's contact always comes through. So where is he? He said he'd be wearing a Hawaiian shirt. Is that a Hawaiian shirt? Very. Excuse me. Can you tell me how to get to the museum? Yeah. You uh, just take Lakeshore Boulevard all the way down. Okay. I've been undercover at Nora Farm. One of Banning Shell Companies? Pharmaceuticals. The front is over-the-counter cold remedies. Why do I get the feeling Banning's not making nasal spray? Try a drug that's gonna put people to sleep at the push of a button. Ah, oh, television. Cute. He's got one of the country's top physicians working for him. They're gonna promote this stuff as the cure for the common cold. He knows how to target the masses. People will be standing in line around the block for it. Yeah, it's called Narasic. They're gonna launch the drug next week. Behind you! Stay put. Yeah. I'll go get the car. Guinea pig is heavy for a rodent. Zach was right about the drug. We have to find Banning's prized doctor. Who is it? My father. Vital signs are normal. It's like he's in a deep sleep. Still no rapid eye movement. Could you help me lift his head? What is it? It's like a band-aid. No lacerations. No incision. Ask your father. My father didn't do this. How'd you explain the photo? 
My father's a doctor. He wouldn't purposely try to harm someone. When was the last time you spoke to your father? Three months ago. That's enough time for Benning to get to him. It's a trap. Benning's using your father to draw you out. Then there's no choice. It's a trap I have to walk into. Dr. Keating, are we on schedule? It's going to be tight, but I think we should have enough Norisac ready for the launch next week. You should talk to Dr. Rupp about the patches. That's her department. There you go, Dr. Rupp. Thank you. Well, I don't anticipate any problems, Mr. Benning. You're right on schedule. I know I can rely on you, Marlena. You have a unique talent for getting things done. I'm listed. I went by the old house. It's empty. Doesn't your father work at the hospital? I called. He left three months ago. I think I found something. It's too small. Can you zoom in? 3,005. Now what? We run a search for listed streets with that number. Let's say we start in the neighborhood of Tamil. Mrs. Keating will be right with you. May I get you something to drink? No, thank you. Tell Banny Laura's here. Mom, I told you to stay away from Banny. Now you've got guards planted outside your door. Honey, we were so worried about you. We hired detectives. We've been searching everywhere. Mr. Banning has been doing everything he can to help us find you. Because he wants to have me killed. I can't listen to anything he has to say. I didn't know what else to do. I haven't heard from you in months, and he was the only one who was willing to help. Mom, I'm sorry. I told you I had to go away. I haven't slept a full night since you left. Every time the phone rings, I pray it's you. I didn't even know how to reach you when we moved. I didn't have a choice. I didn't want to put you in danger. But you're here now. Because it's too late. By working with Banning, Dad's put you both at risk. Laura, you know your father. Look, I tried to tell him that you didn't trust Banning, but he wouldn't listen to me. The next thing I knew, the movers were packing us up. Where is he? At the office. He practically lives there now. When I call, he rushes me off the phone. I have to warn him before he gets any deeper. Too deep into what? Laura, tell me what's going on. Banning's going to use Dad's work to hurt a lot of people. Your father would never hurt anyone. I know what he thinks he's doing is right. Banning can be very persuasive. Oh, yes. He told us you were in trouble. He's... He said that Nathaniel murdered someone. He's lying. Nathaniel is not a killer. Is that him? Okay. Laura. Please let us help you. Honey. You have to get out of this house, Mom. Something's come up. I've got to go. Everything all right? 
Oh, my daughter showed up. We haven't seen her or heard from her in months. Hard on my wife. And you? No, I don't think I can talk to her anymore. And <laughs> the more I try to help her, the more I push her away. Well, kids grow up and make stupid decisions. But you just have to let them go through it. Yeah, all that potential, huh? Throwing it away just to become a fugitive. She must be a strong willed. <laughs> It's an understatement. <laughs> What is it they say? The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Well, I was hoping that she'd reach higher than these old branches. <laughs> Don't underrate yourself. You're an amazing man, and I have no doubt a terrific father. Yeah. Thanks. I know it must be difficult to concentrate when you worry about your family. Uh, I, I'll have everything in on schedule, don't worry. This is the most important work you've ever done. It's going to make you famous. Don't drop the ball now. Yes, you're right. Huh? Going home wouldn't solve anything. Okay, let's offer our services. All your lines are down. Yeah, they just went dead. Um, they were working a minute ago. We're gonna need access to your second level. Okay. Put these on. And please use the stairs over there. Thanks. The mainframe computer should be on that floor. Okay, Torrens and I will get past security into the computer room while you look for your father. He should be on the third floor. After we download all the data from Narasic, we'll meet back at the rear loading bay. Which is right here. How much time do I have? Ten minutes. If your father sided with Danny. He won't. What if he can't be turned? My father's not one of Banning's thugs. I have to tell him what's going on, give him a chance to do what's right. How can you be sure he'll listen? He doesn't have a choice, does he? His wife just had a visit from Laura. Yes, I'm aware of that. Laura warned her about you. <laughs> Humans are funny creatures, Marlena. As children, they cling to their parents. As they age, they try desperately to sever the family ties. And yet, whenever they're in trouble, where is the first place they run? Blood is thicker than water. <laughs> You've been collecting their cliches. They seem to come in handy. Our doctor wanted to rush home to his wife, but I persuaded him to stay. You're very good at that. I think Laura got to her mother. She's having doubts. Leave Laura and her mother to me. You concentrate on keeping Dr. Keating's mind off his family. That shouldn't be difficult. He seems inclined to put work first. How fortunate for us. Dr. Keating. Laura. <sighs> 
Is there uh, somewhere we can talk in private? Um, yes. Um, Marla, Marla. I've been in my office. Where have you been? Why haven't you called? I couldn't. <laughs> well, you know, your mother nearly had a nervous breakdown. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Disappear for three or four months? I mean, without so much as a phone call? I don't have time for this. Is this what you're working on? Where'd you get this? One of Banning's ex-lab assistants is lying unconscious because he got too close to the truth. Is that what Nathaniel told you? No. I was there. Zach was wearing your patch. One of Banning's thugs hit a button and he went down. I need your help to revive him. Oh, are you completely irrational? Are you hearing what you're saying? Dad, Banning is using your drug to put people to sleep. <laughs> That's absurd. Tell that to Zach. <sighs> She's here. Good. Two birds with one stone. That's a very popular cliche here. Do you like it? What does it mean? Dr. Keating's work will allow me to control the human population while I complete the shift. That's one bird. And drawing Laura out of hiding is a second. <laughs> You're very good at this. I'll alert security to seal off all exits. I doubt if Laura will be visiting alone. She's talking to Keating. Should I intervene? No. Monitor the conversation. I'll expect a full report when I arrive. I have been working toward this discovery for almost ten years. Banning is the first man who offered to support my vision. I know you think you're doing the right thing. I... This isn't just a cure for the common cold. I mean, based on this research, we'll, we'll be able to prevent the spread of viruses and ultimately wipe out disease. He's using you, Dad. I am not going to turn my back on helping millions of people because your psycho patient boyfriend... Banning is not who you think he is. Well, who is he then? I can't get into that right now. We have to get out of here. I am not going anywhere. Checked in there? Just about to. I hate the directions. Keep going, I got it. anyone here. Stay away from that woman. Oh, Dr. Rupe? She's an expert in her field. If she works for banning, she's dangerous. Are you listening to yourself? You're feeding on Nathaniel's paranoia. We have to go now. Who's he? Another mental patient? That's very funny. Is he coming with us?
We're gonna have to find another way. All right. Get rid of the belt. Why? <clears throat> uh, Torrent! What the hell is that? Theron microcircuitry. Self-charged particles of a highly conductive material we call formite. Could it be a neurotransmitter? If the charge was strong enough to impact the sleep center. There's no way my father's responsible for this. This is pure Theron technology. There still isn't proof that he didn't assist in the development. You're beginning to sound like Torrens. If we can convince him of the truth, he could help us stop banning. We gave him his chance, Laura. This is not an easy decision. And sometimes you have to make sacrifices. One life for the life of millions. This isn't your decision to make. Even if we did find the existing drug patches, with your father working with him, Banning could just start all over again. All I need is some time to make him listen. We could kidnap him. Make him see who Banning really is. Are you sure you know your father as well as you think you do? You're the one who told me that Torrance could be turned. I listen to you. Now you have to trust me. I know my own father. Okay. We'll do it your way. If we start changing our plans now, it will only make him believe her. Keating will believe what I tell him to. His drug is the key to our success. He cannot be distracted. We lose him, we lose everything. But he's starting to lose his focus. He's worried about his family. Well, then we must keep him away from his family. The launch is tomorrow, is that clear? Don't let Dr. Keating out of your sight. The signal processor. I want the installation completed immediately. Why didn't he revive when we took off the patch? The patch already transmitted its signals to the brain. It must remain dormant until it's triggered by a remote. Before Zach went down, Torrance and I heard something. It's beyond human hearing. An ultrasonic signal. But it must be specific to each individual patch. A digital code. Like a cell phone receiving only its frequency. Exactly. So if we can find each code and recreate the ultrasonic frequencies, then we can revive Zach and take control of Benning's experiment. So we start at a high digital frequency beyond human hearing and work up from there. But that's absurd. I tried to talk him out of it, but he wouldn't listen. Benny thinks your daughter and her friend are dangerous to you and to the project. <sighs> I know we've had our problems, but I mean, Laura wouldn't do anything to hurt me. You don't really know her anymore. You said so yourself. I know I can talk some sense into her if she'd just give me a chance. I'm sure you could do, but Mr. Benning isn't prepared to wait. There's too much at stake. Oh, I shall talk to him myself. I promised Banning that we would step up our preparations. The launch has been moved to the first thing in the morning. That's impossible. Not if we work together. 
I can have enough patches ready. You can infuse them right away. Hmm. I mean, I suppose we have enough Narsac in storage, but we'd have to work all night to be ready. Then we work all night. I'd better call my wife. Tell her not to wait up. Still nothing. Try another 20 megahertz. Another 10? Okay, looks like I found the right frequency. Now I just have to determine the right sequence of pulses. What the hell? It's okay. Zach, you're safe. Well, what's going on? How, how did you get me here? Zach, what's the last thing that you remember? The beach. We were walking. That was yesterday. Oh, man. Yeah. God, it's like I just blinked my eyes. And you heard nothing? Okay. Looks like the patch interfaces with the neural receptors. Are you telling me that I... What are you doing? Testing my theory. Can be turned off and on like a light bulb? Something like that. Hello? Laura, it's me. Mom, I'm glad you called. Honey, you were right. About your father? There is something wrong. He told me he'd come home early today, but he didn't get here till three. Banning's keeping him on a tight schedule. Banning. I wish I'd never heard of him or his promises. Your father claims he has to work all night again in order to be ready for the launch tomorrow. Did he say where, what time? In the morning. They're setting up in front of the Brissy Community Center. Mom, Dad's telling you the truth. And you're right not trusting Banning. Don't do it. Not ever. I'm sorry. I didn't listen to you sooner. It's okay. Just... Promise me you'll get out of that house and go somewhere safe. I'm already packed. Okay, well, I have to go. I'll talk to you soon. Laura? Yep. I love you. I love you too, Mom. Well, we've got him on the run. Baining's moved up the launch. Dr. Keating, may I have a word? Would you excuse us, Marlena? Are you all right, Doctor? You seem a little on edge. Oh, I'm sorry, we've been up all night. Quite all right. It's Laura, isn't it? Look, I know you think that she's dangerous, but she's not. She's just become obsessed with these bizarre notions. About me? Yes. I warned you about it, Samuel. It seems his delusions are rubbing off on Laura. If she approaches you again, let me help. I know an excellent clinic in Geneva that specializes in situations like hers. Yes. Um, do you recall a lab technician named Zach? No, I don't offhand. Why? It's, it's not... It's... All the patches have to be activated and rendered inert. Don't worry. I found the common frequency code that will trigger all the patches to activate. Most of the stuff I found. And dial in the frequency modulation from the van from which you back there. Hey, be careful. Something's wrong? 
have this pen in my side. Hey! Torrance! Just leave her there. I had no choice. You know, the first mistake we made was trying to take the doctor alive. It's your father, Torrens. Where's your compassion? Uh, remember what you said to me? We can't risk the future of this planet to save one man, even if it's Laura's father. The same thing could be said about you when you were with Banning. Laura risked her life to save you. You might want to thank her sometime. Get out of here. Soon. Okay, your mother and I are working on some arrangements. For what? No rubber room with curtains? Laura, I know that you believe what you're saying is true, but... Dad, Fanning isn't even human. He's here to destroy us. Laura, stop. <sighs> you can't trust Marlena either. Patch contains more than your drug. There's an alien transmitter hidden. That's impossible. And how's our guest? I told him the truth, Benning. But not the evil alien yarn again. You're lucky Mr. Benning didn't call the police. Go ahead, Mr. Benning. Call the police. Tell them what's really in your drug patches. Tell my father, too. Perhaps we should leave her to rest now. Yeah, yes, that's right. I mean, try to stay calm. signal processor. It's like destroying the phone company's switchboard. Pulls the plug on his entire operation. Well, what about Laura? We can't just assume that Banning has her. He definitely has her. Benny would want to keep her close. So how are you going to take out the signal processor? Fire? Plastic explosives? That's too messy. Besides, we can do a lot more damage with this. Cool. Uh, what the hell is it? It's an electromagnetic pulse generator. This discharge will erase all recorded data and destroy every electronical device in the building. I like it, but there's a problem. What? Well, if Laura's been fitted with one of Banning's sleep patches, we'll have to get to her before you set that thing off. Why? Well, once that processor is dead, there's no link left to the victim. It's like having an unlisted number. She'll never wake up again. Maybe you're right. Yes, I know. Her mother's on her way over now to take her home. Does Mr. Benning know that? I don't think it's any of his business. Well, it just... I thought Mr. Benning was making arrangements for her. Not that I'm aware of. George, what is it? It's nothing. Look, could we uh, prep these new patches so, so I can I can get home? Of course. Uh, 
take five minutes to build the charge. Then he blows. Do it. What about Laura? It's lower than me. Then you you have five minutes. Did you build this from plans, or, or, or did you bring it with you? Laura! Laura! It's your dad! I'm gonna get you out of there! You don't need to be here. I don't want to miss the fireworks. Fine. It's your life. We are losing him. Not so long as we have his daughter. I assured that's enough. Marlena. These creatures have a few primal impulses that are entirely predictable. Family. Lust. Hunger. What about survival? Dr. Keating. I don't understand any of this, but I'm afraid for Laura. You should be. Can you get her out? Yes. Vitamins. Benning? Marlena. The patch allows them to control the sleep center through a remote signal. But you've removed it. Well, why won't you wake up? It's too late. The signal's already traveled to the brain. Laura. Laura! use is that? First, I have to determine the correct frequency. Well, why isn't it working? I'm trying to match the specific code used on her. Each patch was assigned a unique signal? Exactly. He runs the family. Your father is a good man. Yes, he is. Well, I know what you went through to get me away from Benning. And I don't know if I ever thanked you. So, thank you. You're worth it. Our contacts will see that you're safe. Once you get to Montana, they'll help you establish your new identity. And what about you? When are we going to see you again? Every time I talk to you, I'm putting you in danger. Well, I figure we're all in this together now. I don't see 
why we can't talk to each other once in a while. All right, I'll try to call. Montana. <laughs> well, I never thought I'd be a small-town country doctor. Might be a nice change. <laughs> Laura, I am sorry we didn't listen to you. It's okay. Bye, honey. Dr. Keating, your work will save lives. Yours will, too. Oh, Laura. Your mom's real proud of you. And I'm proud of you. On sci fi, Farscape. The Terminator would never stop, and it would die to protect him. Go! Now! Kill us all! Just run! Run! The ultimate man versus machine masterpiece. A special widescreen presentation of Terminator 2 Judgment Day, Thursday at 9. Plus, during the movie, get a Sci-Fi Essentials exclusive sneak peek at 20th Century Foxes. I, Robot. Gotcha. In theaters July 16th. Think of me as your friend. You're going to be going through a lot of changes. All parents are from another planet. What the hell is going on? I don't know. They're not human. Eddie, run! They Are Among Us premieres this Saturday at 9 on Sci-Fi.